guys and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Now today we have got the prime icon beast John Barnes to review for you guys. So if you do enjoy today's play review, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button for me. It's greatly appreciated. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel. And happy new year, guys. Happy new year. I hope you have the best 2022 you can all possibly have. Uh, but today, we have got the 89 rated Barnes to review. I can't wait to review. I've used them already. And if you want to do, see some gameplay with him already as well, uh, check out the past and present Liverpool squad builder. It's something new on the channel. I'm going to try to do some more squad builders. Uh, I took some inspiration from Razor HD in that one. It's like an EXE video. It's quite funny, I think, anyway. And um, yeah, you get to see John Barnes. So that is something to have a look at. Anyway, uh, John Barnes looks pretty fantastic. And I'm quite honest, look at this guy, doesn't he? High medium work rate, left footed, four star, four star. But he's going for 400k, which is a lot of coins. Um, he's more than... Likes a name, I don't know. So it is a hell of a lot of going stars, but he is a prime icon version. His pace is fantastic, 88 and 91. His shooting category is pretty stacked, to be honest, apart from his volleys and penalties. Um, his finishing, 88, brilliant, uh, as well as the tap position of 87, shot power of 86, and long shots of 89. His passing stats, again, pretty phenomenal. Um, his long passing could be a bit better at 77, though, uh, but everything else, again, is fantastic. He does have finesse shot traits, so don't be worried too much about the 85 curve because I don't see a problem with it, to be honest. Um, short passing, 86, is going to be really good. Free kicks as well, crossing 87 and vision of 85. His dribbling is pretty okay. Um, it's similar to like, to like Ronaldo and Mbappe in the sense that he's got decent agility, but his balance is pretty poo. Um, so maybe you do want to stick an engine chem style on him to get the most out of that balance and agility. Um, Mine came with a hunter on him, so I'm going to leave a hunter on him. Uh, that's just how it is. And he's got 86 reactions, 92 ball control, which is insane, 93 dribbling, and 90 composure. Absolutely brilliant. Can win an header as well. He's 6 foot with 75 hen and 72 jumping, which is fantastic. 88 stamina is absolutely brilliant, but he's a bit of a tank, lads. A bit of a tank for a winger anyway. 86 strength and 82 aggression there. Absolutely fantastic. As I've already said, he does have finesse shot trait. He also has flair trait. And... Um, if my right RB will work on this controller, there is his icon profile for you. Um, when he played for Liverpool, obviously, obviously. He was an absolute Liverpool icon, wasn't he? The dream man. Absolute beast in his day. And to be fair, he looks like a beast on FIFA. So is he going to live up to that 400k price tag? We'll soon find out as we get into the gameplay. But first... A quick word from our sponsor, Manscaped. The holidays has come early, as Manscaped have the gift that keeps on trimming. Santa's beard isn't so appealing when it's popping out your trousers. And that's why Manscaped, the leaders in the below the waist grooming, have you covered this holiday season. Now available in your country, join the four million men worldwide who trust Manscaped to keep their trees trimmed and ornaments polished and use the code josh97hd to get 20% off and also personally i really love the ball deodorant there's nothing worse than having a long day at work your ball stuck in your jeans and they absolutely hum at the end of the day just slap some of this good stuff on and you'll be good to go absolutely love the ball deodorant and the 4.0 definitely recommend both of them so here we go into the first game with john barnes he's got a nice team got a cheeky fernando torres in there we're gonna play him at striker to start with him in a 4 triple two formation and see how he plays the striker and then probably in the next game we'll play him as that wide cam in the 4 triple two which is basically a winger and see how he does for in that position as well because uh, that is his main position but this man he, he honestly could play anywhere on the pitch couldn't he looking at his stats you could play him anywhere across that attack of line he looks pretty beastly oh here we go it's lovely Easy as that, lads. Easy as that. And that was cutting in from the left wing because uh, he hasn't had a chance to change position yet because it has only been eight minutes of FIFA and I've already scored with him. What a goal it was. Finds himself on side. For some reason, he's to his right foot. Got no idea why, though. Uh, if he'd have finessed that with his left, that would have been in the back of the net. No doubt about it. For a dink it to Barnes, and he's showing his headed ability there as well. Great goal. 
Uh, so he is quite versatile. He was up front in this game. And within, what, 20 minutes of FIFA, he scored two goals. And he got us a rage quit. So fantastic performance from him in this first one. Obviously, we're going to play a few more, lads. So here we go into match number two. And he's probably done that keen SBC, unless he got him in his mid-icon pack. Uh, which I have done. Check out who I got. Um, he's actually featured in this team. Oh, we find John Barnes. Let's rock it, that one. What a finish, man. The power on that shot. Unreal. First time. What was that flip, man? Shame we couldn't get a goal off that. That would have been so good. Oh, lovely play. Oh, we find him. Finesse. See! What a goal. Yet again. Absolutely fantastic from him. Honestly, playing with a striker, cutting inside on that left peg is banging. Absolutely banging. Um... So far, he's been brilliant. He's very creative. He's very strong. He can head a ball. I'm really, really made up on how he's performing, to be honest. I'm quite shocked he's actually this good. He's here again. Bouncy boy! Outside the foot shot! And there's his hat trick in this one. Again, just showing how fantastic he is. And I am playing him at striker. Um, I've not played him on the wing, which I'm sure he'll do a fine job at as well. But um, with the low long passing and with everything else that this man does possess, I do believe that he's going to be a better striker than he is out wide. Um, don't get me wrong, you can use him out wide if you've got a load of coins and you want to use him as a winger and you've got better strikers, fair play. But honestly, this man as a striker, he's pretty darn good, lads. Just so easy. So easy! Is that two rage quits? Yes, it is. Four goals from John Barnes and four spectacular goals. Oh, my God. This man might just be the one. It's been unreal at striker. Um, in the next game, I will play him as a wide cam, uh, just so you can see how he does play. But honestly, I don't think you need to see him as a wide cam because that as a striker, two rage quits with two games... He got four goals in this one at half time. That's just absolutely fantastic, lads. That is fantastic. This goal was phenomenal. Outside the foot shot. Does the defender there. Kim Pembe. See you later. What a finish that was. This one, again, long shot. I think this one was. Brilliant. Look at that. He brings his keeper out. Sayonara, me. Into the back of the net. And the first goal was really good as well. Um, lovely ball from Figo. And then a brilliant strike across the goalkeeper. So he does have um, the ability, lads, to play striker. Um, but I will use him as a wide camp in the next. So into the final game with Barnes. And he's got a really nice team. He's got um, Van Persie, who I have reviewed both of his cards so far. I do want to try his uh, prime out. But I have reviewed his mid and base cards. So if you do want to check those out, please do so. Here we go. Another outside the box. Outside the box. And then outside the boot shot, uh, not too far away. What a strike. And we get a rage quit. Well, we'll have to do it again then. Woo, woo, woo. And I really do like that team. Quite creative. Well done to you, sir. Uh, in the last one, literally scored off a corner after Barnes had that really nice shot. And then that was it. He was gone. Within a couple of minutes of FIFA, he was gone. Lovely play from him. Cutting inside there. He's steaming through. Let's go low driven. Oh, we do get a goal off it though. We do get a goal off it. Not a bad run from him. He created the play. Got back up top. Got a shot off. And then it did, did get saved. But we did score in the end. Great from him. Great play from him. And this is out wide as well, lads. Um, I am playing a four, triple two. And he is playing as the wide left cam. So basically he's playing left wing. <laughs> Silky play. Silky play. Again, unlucky not to get through there. Great build-up play with him. 
Uh, the skill moves are brilliant. Obviously, he's got four star, four star, which is fantastic. I'm really not seeing any issue with his agility and balance at the minute. Um, he does feel quite good on the ball, uh, considering his stats there. But so does the likes of Mbappe and um, Ronaldo. They feel great on the ball, and they have similar stats to him in that sense. So I wouldn't be I won't be put off by his agility and balance because he does feel pretty good. Shame we couldn't get the ball to him there. Oh, but he does intercept. And we dink it to Aubameyang. Decent ball from him. The touch was terrible from Aubameyang, though. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, and again, another rebound goal from, off an attack from Barnes. Um, and we have got... Four rage quits out of four games in this review. That just tells you how good Barnes is, lads. <laughs> I know he didn't score in this one. He was playing out wide. He played okay. Uh, I would say, though, if you're looking for an out and out winger, you're probably better going off with, like, a Neymar, who's the same price. Uh, but if you're going to play this man in the centre as a striker, which I did in the first game, that's where I recommend playing him. Honestly, he's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. He gets involved in more of the play. Um, he's definitely a better central player than he is a wide player, but he's still brilliant out wide. Uh, but to get the most out of the card, I do believe that yeah, will need to play him as a striker or even like a central camp in a 4-2-3-1 formation. This game, another rage quit, but we'll get into my overall thoughts and opinions right now with the card. So my overall thoughts and opinions of John Barnes. As I've already said about positioning, um, I would recommend playing him as a striker. In 14 games, I scored 9 goals from him and got 1 assist. Um, in the games that I did play on the review, though, I think he got 7, maybe, um, out of 4 games. And all 4 were rage quits, so that is incredible. Um, what I would say, in the other games that I did play with him, I did actually play him out wide as well. So, it just shows you, if you do play him at striker, he's definitely going to get you goals. If you play him out wide in his intended position as a winger, uh, he's not going to get involved in the goals as much. But he definitely will get involved in the build play, stuff like that. Just depends what you want from the card. Uh, I do believe he can play out wide, hands down. He's, he's a brilliant winger. Uh, didn't have any problems at all with his agility and balance there. Uh, I would say, though, probably do stick an engine on him uh, to boost them up to get the most out of the card. But honestly, this man was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, as you've seen, lads, in the gameplay, his aggression, his strength, um, his dribbling wasn't bad at all. Um, his shooting, incredible. Yeah, left peg finesse shots. Oh, God, fantastic. Um, out of 10, I'd probably go ahead and give this man a 9. Honestly, 400k, pretty much. You, there's not many um, icon wingers on the game, left wingers, uh, or even right wingers, to be quite fair. You've got the likes of Nedved, who has got 5-star weak foot, so he might be a better option than Barnes, but I'm sure he's probably more expensive than Barnes, to be honest. Um, I think he's a great option, great option. And... As you said, he played absolutely phenomenally. Um, so, yes, definitely recommend this guy. Go and get him. He will not let you down, but I do recommend playing him as a striker to get the most out of him goals-wise. Thank you all for watching today's player review. If you have enjoyed, smash that thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more player reviews and FIFA content. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.